people say that for flan standards you don't require any logic let's put that to the test so for example we are having an aspb 16.36 standard which is usually used for orifice meters so will you be using orifice flow meter for integral orifice and for restriction orifice the same standard the answer is a big no why let's look at the logic behind it. basically the asme standard is divided into four flange standards which is 16.5 47 36 and 34 now, the basic and the most simple two standards are 16.5 and 16.47 then we'll get to the complex ones like 16.36 and 16.34 now 16.5 is basically from nps half inch to 24 inches and 16.47 is between 26 inches to 16 inches of nps now 16.47 is further divided into series a flange and series b flanges series A flanges and series B flanges are not compatible with each other. For example, if you have 150 rating flange, then series A would have 28 bolts, while series B would have 44 bolts. So we need to be cautious about this fact. And also, if you want to know when to use what, so usually for critical lines you use series A, and for non-critical lines like utility, water, etc., you would use series B flanges. Now let's look into the most interesting part of it, which is ASME B 16.36. Why do we have this standard? Now ASME B 16.36, if you see, it is usually used for orifice meter assemblies, and in orifice flanges are a little different from the regular flanges. Why? Because if you see that the water which is going to flow or any liquid has to be measured when a DP is created. So these flanges have to be actually drilled, and when you drill a flange, you reduce its mechanical power or mechanical integrity because you're putting a hole through it so because of that case 150 ratings are not part of 16.36 it directly starts from 300 pound rating so such flanges are specially designed for such holes being drilled into them however if you notice for an integral orifice assembly these are part of vendor scope and what are the end connections that we get these so now here there is no hole which is drilled into the end connections so there is no need for asme b 16.36 to be specified for integral orifice meters Similarly if you look at restriction orifices restriction orifice just put a restriction in the line of flow and thus there is no dp that has to be measured so the flanges don't have to be drilled and hence we don't have to use asme b 16.36 even for restriction orifices that is why it's very important to know the logic if you're passionate about instrumentation then every saturday i produce a new video and i hope you would find these videos valuable let's get to the next part of the flange stand which is asme 16.34 now this is why is this developed especially for valves we don't have to drill any holes into valves right now know that something called as mss which stands for manufacturers standardization society of valves and fittings now these standards and the aspe standards had to be collaborated together because there were lot of people which were following mss standards some were following aspe standards so then aspe b 16.34 basically combines 16.5 standard which is called as the standard flange class then you have mssb 66 which is the special flange class and the third one is mssb 84 which stands for limited flange class so basically aspe 16.34 tried to combine all these standards together under one umbrella so for example if you have a 2 inch 300 pound flange you could say it's called a special if you put spl in the end or you could put limited as ltd but remember that usually we always go for the standard class even though the special and the limited class in 300 rating it can occupy even more pt ratings but because of the stringent requirements of testing people usually prefer to stick with asme 16.5 or 4 Also on a side note I would like to share that I've written a free ebook on engineering PIP standards there have been 2500 plus downloads from engineers like Shell Dow etc the link is given in the description below if you like it you can download the free book until next saturday happy learning i would be happy to meet you next saturday